Well, hello there. This is Minute Maid in the Freedom Series number six. Today we're going to discuss the Eighth and Fourteenth Amendment, and then we're going to summarize what we've talked about. Let's begin with a pretty bold statement. You've lost freedoms since the attack on New York's Twin Towers on September 11th. In less than a year, a law was passed of many of the freedoms you had. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's talk about the Eighth Amendment first. The Eighth Amendment says you have freedom from cruel and unusual punishments. Now, cruel and unusual punishments mean torture, torture of any kind. Doesn't matter if Dick Cheney changed cruel and unusual punishments to enhanced interroga interrogation. Doesn't matter at all because it is cruel and unusual punishment. The U.S. government has taken into custody individuals they identify as material witnesses, transport them across the country, and held them for months in solitary confinement without charge or contact with their family. According to the Justice Department's own Inspector General, immigrant men rounded up in the Ashcroft raids following the September 11th and held in the Metropolitan Detention Center of Brooklyn, New York, subjected to a pattern of physical and verbal abuse about the 14th Amendment, and that's your right to equal protection under the law. Over 82,000 men from Arab, Muslim, and South Asian countries registered with the government under the Special Registration Program. Over 13,000 are now in deportation proceedings. None have been charged with terrorism. In brief review, we found out that under the First Amendment, under the Fourth Amendment, and the Fifth Amendment, and the Sixth Amendment, the Eighth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment, all of the citizens of this country lost freedoms that were guaranteed by the Constitution. This all happened in less than a year's time. A 386-page bill, not even understood by most lawyers, made it through both houses and was signed by President Bush in less than a year, something that has never happened before. Think about the freedoms you've lost. Think about the series, the resources, investigate what's going on in this country. An educated public will be able to keep their freedoms. A disinterested, uneducated public will lose their freedoms. In the words of Johnny Cash, we'll meet again. I don't know where, I don't know when, but we'll meet again some sunny day.